National Freedom Party leader Zanele Magwazam Sibi is being laid to rest today. The former Deputy Minister of Science and Technology died on Monday from cardiac arrest. Magwazam Sibi is receiving a special official provincial funeral, Category 2, in Ulundi, KZN. Let's cross now live to our senior reporter, Desen Tatia. Desen, good afternoon. And uh, just give us a background on what has happened up to this point. Well, I can tell you that the mood has changed here significantly. Initially, when we got here at the required time, this funeral was meant to start at 10 o'clock, but it didn't. There was a delay. It was all very quiet. To, to the right of me is the marquee that has been set up. I hope that you can see through this glass. This is where the formal event is being held. This is where the stage has been set up, and that's where the speakers will be addressing mourners in a little while. There's just a musical item on right now. But on the outside, it's a completely different picture. You may have seen some of those visuals that we brought to you earlier. This is where NFP members have converged. They've come to the venue. They marched in just behind where that funeral procession had come in probably just under an hour ago. It first stopped about maybe 100 or 200 meters away from where we are now. At that point, they were not allowed into that venue where the hearse was offloaded. It was then led down here with the pallbearers walking along the short distance to bring that hearse here. Now, there is quite a significant police presence. I just want to try to get to the other side of uh, this marquee just to give you an idea of the numbers of people that have come to this venue numbers of people unfortunately that as i said won't be allowed in because there are strict covid 19 protocols that are being adhered to at the special provincial official funeral so for the rest of them they'll have to be out here this is still more people than was initially anticipated or invited by uh, the, the, the provincial government, but nevertheless, they have come here to pay their final respects. It is quite an emotional time. Many of them have been uh, speaking to us about what their leader meant to them. And for many of them, she symbolized a strong woman that had really uh, taken the bull by the horns, formed a party that initially had uh, been a lot more successful than many had anticipated at that time. But unfortunately, as you know by now, she fell ill a few years later. Dasin, uh, just by looking at uh, the supporters who have come to mourn and uh, support uh, their leader as uh, she is being buried, how serious are they adhering to the COVID-19 protocol? And, uh, you know, are they police who are monitoring the situation? Yeah, as I mentioned, there is quite a strong police presence. In fact, they were here quite early just to secure the, the venue. And they did try earlier as the, the coffin was being led down here. That was where many of the supporters uh, seemingly wanted to, to overrun that barrier that was formed and get to the coffin. Lots of them trying to push past to take pictures. They were singing, accompanying the coffin down there. But police were, were trying to, I guess, strike a balance between being sensitive and gentle, but at the same time ensuring that, they, 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 that the supporters that had come here respected these protocols. Right now, the numbers are significantly higher than initially anticipated. I think you can see that for yourself. So what police have now decided to do is form uh, something of a barrier around the marquee so they can ensure that the proceedings inside will continue as planned without, uh, without overrunning the numbers that they are meant to accommodate in, in, that, uh, in that tent. And then just very lastly, have you been able to uh, listen to some of the speakers and uh, whether or not uh, you can give us highlights of what has been said about her? 
Well, that program is yet to get underway. So those speakers will be expected to speak within probably the next 30 minutes to, to an hour. And on that list, you've got the ANC, you obviously have the NFP. And interestingly, you also have the IFP leader, Vilnkosi Klabisa, that's going to be speaking. And why I say inter interestingly is because a short while ago, we did speak to the NFP's Kanan and Fletcher, and he was saying that even as Kamagwaza Msibi had passed away, she was still looking to, I guess, iron out the differences between her and that party. And, and, and according to him, according to Mfleche, that hadn't been done completely. So it will be, uh, I think all of us will be paying close attention to what the other political parties have to say. We also know that the ANC has had uh, quite a, 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 I guess, a, a, a cozy relationship with the NFP. They have co-governed in many municipalities in the past. So no surprises there. And after those political parties and family members pay their last respects, the Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, Sifle Zikalala, will deliver the eulogy to the mourners here.